Let's have a look at the workout of a horse called Luck A Lot. And uh, Luck A Lot was working along there with a stable mate. Luck A Lot is coming off a recent placing over the straight course. That's him on the inside stretching out nicely. And uh, Luck A Lot is prepared by Norasman. And he's coming off a last start, seventh to Pisces star in a hit of the Malaysia Championship. He was placed behind the smart people before that. He goes around in race one on Saturday. That is Luck A Lot. Now, given quite a uh, slow and easy workout on the sand on Tuesday, we have stablemates Lightning Rod and also El Comandante. That's Lightning Rod on the inside. He goes around in the title ball carnival handicap, which is race one on Saturday. And he's working up to a victory too. He's had the 10 race starts for one placing, coming off two decent efforts at five level and wasn't far away behind smart people four runs ago. So Lightning Rod has a good form line leading into the first race on Saturday, prepared by K.L. Chong, and will be ridden by the apprentice, K.C. Wong. The chestnut performer here is Legal Lord. He'll be going around in race two on Saturday, being put through his paces there by Jay Shanker, who'll be uh, reacquainted with Legal Lord there on Saturday. He's coming off two recent victories over 1,400 and 1,600. He's won twice over the mile from seven tries, and he looks a good chance of breaking back into the winner's circle there. That's Legal Lord who goes around in the second race. Now, more than words from the K.L. Chong Yard is going for three wins in a row, coming off a last start impressive performance at Penang. Let's go back two runs ago. This was back to the 20th of April when he scored at Epo over 1,600 and uh, defeated King of the Creek on this occasion. Goes up in grade. It goes up to Class 4 level for the first time on Saturday. This is more than words. And King of the Creek goes up to hit the leader. He strikes the top. He tries to draw away. Down the outside, Dr. Wu with Houston Rocket. And then came More Than Words, which is coming back on the inside. King of the Creek still leads from More Than Words, Dr. Wu. And then Houston Rocket. More Than Words is getting up underneath King of the Creek. More Than Words finishing it off a lot better. And More Than Words for K.L. Chong and C.K. Tan. Take out race seven. More Than Words has one from King of the Creek. And third was Anak Kampong, a good runner. Fourth, Dr. Wu. They were... Let's have a look at the 11-year-old Galloper now. This is no time to wait. He's had several stable changes throughout his career. And he's had another one recently. He's now trained locally by KK Lowe. Coming off a last start placing to the uh, informed Black Coffee at Kale back on the 22nd of March. No time to wait. And it'll be interesting to see how he fares for the new stable this coming weekend. He goes around in race number three on Saturday. No time to wait. Now let's have a look at Martel going through his routine on the grass there on Tuesday. Martel, locally trained by KP Hoy, has had a most uh, consistent season. He's had the four runs this year for one win and three placings. That victory was recorded earlier back on the 4th of January when he scored over 1,200 metres. He's had the five starts over the 1,200 for one win, two placings. Martel goes around in race four on Saturday. This is the Malaysian bred uh, horse contented at six years of age and is coming off two recent placings. Both at Epo, coming off a last start second to Raffles Pegasus at class four level. Has won once over the 1200 before, but is working okay, contented, racing well, and uh, no doubt will be back in the winner's circle soon. Contented goes around in race four on Saturday. Now, this is Full Power, who goes around in the opening race there on Sunday. And Full Power has been out of the winner's circle for a long, long time. May 2011 
was his last winning performance. He's coming off a recent uh, placing behind uh, Jack. That was back on the 19th of April here at Epo. And full power goes around in what is not an overly strong field in the Langkawi Water Festival Handicap. That's race one Sunday. Let's have a look at the last start winning performance of Bernie Dancer. This was back on the 19th of April, winning over 1,200. Led all of the way on this occasion and is going back to the 1,000 metres in the World Harvest Festival Handicap on Sunday. This is Bernie Dancer. My uncle. 400 to go. Can they catch Bernie Dancer? Here's Real Green about to descend upon it now. Track Mac is the deepest runner, being followed by Deputy Law. Running on also their City Lights. They've got 200 to go. Bernie Dancer has a big lead over Real Green. Uh, then Well Nature down the outside. It's Track Mac, but Bernie Dancer does it all the way for Joseph C. and Prakash Pereira. Bernie Dancer first. Second is Super Wine. In third placing there was Real Green. Then came Track Mac. Lightning Rod. He Can Dance goes around in race number three on Saturday. That's him going through the routine on the sand last Tuesday morning. He Can Dance coming off two recent placings here at Ipoh and also Penang, both over 1,000 and 1,300 metres respectively. And uh, he's been placed over the 1,400 on two occasions from six starts overall. That's He Can Dance. And he goes around in the Malaysia Craft Promotion Handicap on Sunday. Let's have a look at Tana Strike going through his paces there on the grass. So this horse going well at the moment. He's aiming for the hat-trick. Coming off a course record victory two runs ago over 1,200. And followed that up with a very impressive win over 1,400 metres last start, defeating Stralita on that occasion. Over the track and journey, he's got a very good record. Four wins from five starts over the 1,400 at Epo. And he looks hard to beat in race number five on Sunday. That is the Saba Fest Stakes. Now let's take a look at that last start win of Tana Strike when it led all of the way back on the 19th of April. Uh, the horse in the pink and black jacket currently running fourth is Rush. That goes around in the same race there on Sunday. Let's have a look at this winning performance of Tana Strike. Strike has got Strelada breathing down his neck and then along the inside comes Rush and Bookie Boy. They got about 150. It is still 10 half strike. The record holder is still holding on pretty well. He's going game enough for the lot. And 10 half strike, another very impressive win and scores it well. Second on the inside, Strelada. Then came Rush. Right through there was a late finishing run by Supergirl. Then came Blueable. Back to Johnny's Cafe. Horizon led a disappointment. Back into the field. Now, this is uh, Jack, who's working outside of Sun Supreme, and uh, Jack is going for uh, two wins in a row. Was produced first up for 10 months and was uh, successful, and uh, won narrowly from Dusky Maiden back at the last depot meeting. And uh, that is Jack stretching out nicely with Sun Supreme, the stable mate on the inside. Jack goes around in the last race on Sunday. That is the uh, Kenya Fest 2014 handicap. Dr. Wu will be going around in the Kenya Fest 2014 handicap there on Sunday. This is him winning the trail back on Tuesday morning. He went the time of 58.2 over 1,000 metres on the sand. It was here comes Thunder in the straight though. Luck Dragon about to be tackled now by Street Dream. Wave Rider is running on well at the finish and uh, so was Dr Wu back in the centre. They're across the track. Wave Rider the outside goes up there with Street Dream the centre and coming through late is uh, Dr Wu. Dr Wu's finishing it off a lot better and the Doctor gets up. Dr Wu has defeated Street Dream. Luxurious choice, Luck like Dragon close up, Wave Rider peaked on his run and they were followed by Here Comes Thunder, last in Oracion.